The mysteries of Islam fascinate us time and time again. This is no different from the life story of the Prophet. Who was Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam? An illiterate desert merchant who one day stumbled upon amazing Arabic rhetoric? Or was he the creation of Allah's greatest light? Sent down to earth to pull man out of ignorance and bring them to the purest of truths? I, Ali Burji, am on a journey to discover the real story behind the Prophet, the real story behind our religion, the root, the beginning, the cradle of civilization. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام على سيدنا وحبيبنا أبي القاسم محمد المصطفى صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم وعلى آله الطيبين الطاهرين الغر الميامين ولعنة الله على أعدائهم أجمعين من الآن إلى قيام يوم الدين اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد دكتور Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi It's been a while. Insha'Allah, <coughs> today with, uh, we will uh, discuss regarding the wedding of Amir al-Mu'mineen and Fatima al-Zahra. Assalamu alaikum wa ala ahli al-bayt ajma'een. So, we would like to uh, prepare the, the atmosphere for the wedding and gather the information as to how, how it started. Yeah? Um, from where um, was the desire by Amir al-Mu'mineen alayhi salam for marrying Fatima al-Zahra? And also go into that aspect, if was there anyone else who was interested in marrying the daughter? Obviously, someone may, may think that, oh, the daughter of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi probably every human being at that time would want to marry her. Just, just not even knowing her status as a human being, uh, just by being the daughter of the Holy Prophet. Uh, how did it come to be the discussion of marrying uh, Fatima al-Zahra alayhi salam? Bismillah. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على محمد وآله الطيبين الطاهرين المرسلين ولعنة الله على أعدائهم أجمعين Um, on the issue of uh, the marriage of Fatima al-Zahra alayhi salam and Amir al-Mu'mineen alayhi salam. Yes, it is reported that, uh, as you mentioned, um, various uh, people uh, came forward uh, to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa asking for the hand of uh, Sayyidah Fatima al-Zahra alayhi salam um, and um, the answer from the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa in various formats uh, was uh, if you like rejection it is reported that uh, um, Abu Bakr uh, uh, came forward was uh, he the first? Um, or it's just uh, one of them? At least he's one of them. I okay. can't tell you whether he was the first sure. uh, or not. Um, uh, Abu Bakr came forward mm -hmm. and uh, asked um, for the hand of uh, Fatima Zahra alayhi salam in marriage. And um, this is uh, in, according to one of the Sunni sources, at tabaqat volume 8, page 19. Um, and uh, the Prophet replied to him, the Prophet sallallahu replied to Abu Bakr that, Oh Abu Bakr, I await uh, instructions from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Await instructions from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That indicates that it's not up to the Holy Prophet sallallahu yes. alayhi yeah. to who he'll give mm. his daughter. Yes. So it's an appointment by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself. Yes. That's quite very interesting there. Alhamdulillah. Yes. Inshallah we'll come into Inshallah. that. Inshallah. But okay. um, as... Um, and, um, and then Abu Bakr mentioned to Umar that this is what happened. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, Umar told him, according to this reference, as I said, at Tabaqat, volume 8, page 19, 
oh, you've been rejected, Abu Bakr, you've been rejected. Uh, then uh, Abu Bakr told Umar, okay, you try. Uh, so he went forward um, at another day and asked uh, uh, for the hands of Fatima Zahra alayhi salam in marriage. And uh, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said the same thing. I await instructions from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay. And he came uh, to Abu Bakr and told him this is what happened. And uh, Abu Bakr told him, so you've been rejected too. Um, obviously this was uh, uh, something which um, uh, very disappointing, uh, to say the least, mm -hmm. as far as they were concerned, that they were rejected. Yeah. Um, and in other references, um, he, the Prophet ﷺ was looking for, in other, in other references, he says, oh, she's uh, still too young. Uh, so, under that excuse, he... How old was uh, Fatima al Zahra ﷺ at that, at that stage of her life in Medina? Well, when she was, uh, I, don't, I don't know what you mean by that stage, but when she was uh, married, when they she was migrated about in, the, in Medina, because it was in the same year where the, the marriage occurred, correct? It was the, the, the following year. Following yeah, year. Yeah. Okay. Um, when um, uh, the Fatima Zahra alayhi salam married, she, uh, she was nine. Nine years old. Nine years old. Is, that, is, is, is there a difference in uh, opinion with regards to age, or is that fixed number, number nine? Um, there may be, but this is the common, the uh, common, yeah? the common, uh, the widespread thing. Okay. Um, I've come across um, hadith when yeah. uh, uh, narrated from, I think, if I'm not mistaken, by Imam Sadiq alayhi salam, but they say when she was born, uh, and um, uh, they narrate that her growth was uh, um, not the normal. Growth. I'm glad you brought it up because I was I was going to ask you because it's definitely an issue we need to explain to people because the first thing comes into someone's mind is how can a nine-year-old yeah. get married? But, okay, let, let's let's deal with the first question, which is uh, um, what happened the surrounding environment about? Okay, um, okay. So, so we had rejections for Abu Bakr and Omar, and Allah Subhanahu wa Taala was going to instruct uh, yes, Rasulullah. Yes, and we had rejections and others Rasulullah also, Ayman. others. Yes. Uh, also um, approached the Prophet Sallallahu and asked for the hands of Fatma Zahra in marriage. I did assume from both Ansar and Muhajirin. And both Ansar and Muhajirin. And, and it says, for, for example, in Majma Zawaid, mm -hmm. um, um, it says that um, on occasion where they, they used to remain quiet. Uh, he used to remain quiet. He didn't, give, he didn't used to give an answer, no. Okay. Um, sometimes, in the, as, I, as I said, in the cases that I read, he used to say no to um, Abu Bakr and Omar. In other cases, he used to um, remain quiet and not give an answer, which people understood that the answer was negative. So it was probably for those individuals out of respect or whatever, he didn't want to reject them outright, but he sort of remained quiet and stayed quiet until they got the message, if you like. Sure. Um, Uh, uh, in fact, another reference uh, uh, in Manaqib, uh, volume 3, page 122, it says that Abu Bakr and Umar sought uh, uh, the hand of Fatma Zahra in marriage on various occasions. So not, 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 not once? Not once. So they were, they were insisting? Uh, it says, in fact, they were insisting. It says that Marratan ba'd ukhra. They tried once and then again okay. and again and again. Faraddahuma. He used to reject them. As I said, this is in uh, uh, Manaqib, volume 3, page 122. Um, Did others come forth and were persistent as them or no? Uh, doesn't say, it does say it that others did come. Okay. Whether they were as persistent as uh, these two, uh, uh, doesn't say. Okay. And got to the stage where uh, it's reported that وَقَدْ الْخَاطِبُونَ النَّبِيِّ عَلَى مَنْهُمْ وَتَزْوِجْ that uh, they started complaining um, uh, to the Prophet that you reject us. And ultimately when he married, uh, uh, the, the Prophet agreed to the marriage of Fatima Zahra and Imam Ali alayhi salam. Um, they start complaining uh, that how comes you turned all of us down and you married her to Imam Ali alayhi salam. And listen to this. Uh, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi 
says, Wallah, he swears by Allah, he swears an oath by Allah. Ma ana manatukum wazawashta. It wasn't me who rejected you and pro, uh, uh, and and it wasn't me who uh, married her to Imam Ali. This came directly from above, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Balillah manakum wazawaja. It was Allah who uh, uh, rejected you and refused you to marry her, and it was Allah who married her to Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhim salam. So this is uh, very categoric, um, uh, very clear that, and, Allah, and the Prophet sallallahu it must have been, there must have been a lot of pressure to the extent that Allah, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi usually the, when the Prophet says something, people accept, he is a Prophet, they believe in him, but it says, Wallah, he goes to the extent of swearing an oath by the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make it absolutely clear that it is instructions from Allah in, in case anyone had slight some doubt um, that it was his, his own personal bias, he wanted to uh, make it absolutely clear that it wasn't his. That's why he went to the extent of swearing uh, an oath by the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that it wasn't me who rejected you and married her to Imam Ali and accepted Ali to be her husband, but it was Allah who rejected you and married her why, to Imam Why Ali. would Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have to appoint uh, our holy prophet's daughter to Amir al-Mu'mineen? Why, why was it so important? Why couldn't the holy prophet, like any normal father, you know, choose who the husband for his daughter would be? Mm. Now, we're not saying that the Holy Prophet would have chosen anyone else other than Amir al mumineen mm. Yeah? But why wasn't he given that authority? G good question. Good question. That We know that uh, if he had the authority, he would have married Fatima Zahra to Amir al alayhi salam. But um, this uh, is believed that uh, the reason that this happened and Allah, uh, it, was, it, it, it was required that Allah's instructions are uh, obeyed in the case as far as concerning the marriage of Fatima Zahra alayhi salam, to show her status. And what was her status? Uh, 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 to show that um, it is so important that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted to be in charge of the marriage of Fatima Zahra. Uh, and this is absolutely unique. Indeed, you don't... You we, don't. We, we don't have anything like this mm -hmm. uh, throughout the history of mankind. Uh, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, by doing this, wanted to show the status of Fatima Zahra alayhi salam um, amongst the Muslims, if you like to say the least, if not the rest of the people, the rest of mankind. Um, and at least to the Muslims, so that she, and of course we, we have various other hadiths uh, uh, from the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi about Fatima Zahra, inna Allah yardar li radaha wa yaghdabu li ghatabiha, um, that Allah uh, is content when Fatima Zahra is content, and he is, um, if you like, um, made angry at the, when Fatima Zahra is made angry. It, 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 Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to show, and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wants to show the status of Fatima Zahra uh, in the sight of Allah, um, as far as Allah is concerned, so that that will help, because they knew what was going to happen to Fatima Zahra, and people assaulting her house, and mm. um, wanted, to, wanted to, to leave absolutely no uh, ambiguity about the status of Fatima Zahra. She is someone that she should be um, obeyed or highly respected, uh, which of course, well, of course, she wasn't, uh, as we know, after the death, after the assassination of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alayhi. She was, uh, uh, um, if you like, killed in that manner, which we know, which inshallah we'll do. So the answer to your question as to why Allah wanted to do that is to show her status and leave no ambiguity as far as uh, uh, in the mind of the Muslims. When it came to the to that to those days when they uh, attacked her house, burnt her house, uh, and stormed in in broke the door and stormed into the no. Let me just continue with this. Uh, that the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alayhi says, "Law lam yakhluq Ali." If, if Allah subhanahu wa taala had not created Ali, there would have been no equal to Fatima. Subhanallah. That that's a very heavy statement. You don't say that if it. It's, that's a very yeah. heavy statement. So if it wasn't, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created uh, Fatima to Zahra salam alayha only for Amir al-Mu'mineen and vice versa. Um, that's true, but it's saying more than that. It says, it's saying basically 
if it wasn't for uh, if Allah had not created Ali there would be no one who would be equal mm. or of the same ranking of as that of Fatima al-Zahra no one would be co-equal to Fatima al-Zahra um, if Ali had not been created or if Allah had not created Ali alayhi salam so it shows how this bond was from the heavens was mm. and much um, deeper than again for example we yeah. we have a similar um, in in um, in Akhbar al-Rada, Ayun Akhbar al-Rada, which is uh, in volume 2, page 203, one of the um, works or books of um, highly authentic hadiths, um, <coughs> uh, and the source of those hadiths in that book are Imam Rada alayhi salam. Uh, it says, Imam Rada narrates from Imam Ali alayhi salam, uh, Ali alayhi, Imam Ali says, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi said to me, Imam Ali is narrating, that the Prophet said to me, Ya Ali laqad atabani rijal Quraysh fi amr Fatima. The people of Quraysh or the men of Quraysh, they have uh, continued to complain to me uh, concerning the marriage of Fatima to Zahra. Because I keep refusing them. So it shows from that statement there were numerous requests okay. for marriage. It wasn't one or two or ten or twenty, far more than that. Uh, that's why uh, the Prophet ﷺ, he expressed it in this, that the, the men of Quraysh, they continued to complain uh, to me concerning the issue of marriage Fatima to Zahra. And they say to me that we all sought to marry her, we sought her hands in marriage from you, and you re refused us. and. Then you married her to Ali. <coughs> and again, he says, this is another source. Um, he says, قُلْتُ لَهُمْ وَاللَّهُ مَا أَنَا مَنَعَتْكُمْ وَزَوَجْتُ By Allah, again, Allah, he, he swears uh, an oath by uh, the name of Allah Almighty. By Allah, I didn't refuse you, um, uh, but Allah refused you. And Allah, it was Allah who uh, wanted to marry her to, Fatima, to Imam Ali alayhi salam. And, and then it says, uh, Jibreel alayhi salam descended upon the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa and he said that, O oh Muhammad, Allah Almighty says to you, if I hadn't created Ali, there would have been no equal to Fatima. On the planet, on the face of this planet, from Adam down. So even Adam would not be co-equal to Fatima al-Zahra alayhi salam according to this hadith. Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has instructed the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi that um, you, I make the decision if you like um, uh, about her, the marriage of Fatima al-Zahra alayhi salam. And this reflects uh, the great status uh, of Fatima Zahra, the like of which we have none before or after her. Uh, for any man or woman, we don't, we don't have that. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, um, as far as marriage is concerned, I am responsible or I make the decision for this individual. We don't have that except for Fatima Zahra. Alayhi